We begin in East Africa, where Somalia's allies have expressed alarm over the intensifying row between the country's president and prime minister. This follows heavily armed factions patrolling parts of the capital Mogadishu on Tuesday, raising fears that the political crisis could erupt into violence. Soldiers loyal to Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble took up positions near the presidential palace a day after President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo announced the suspension of the Prime Minister over suspected corruption. Well, let's not head over into a live where we have to Mogadishu where we have our correspondent Mohamed Kahia. Thank you so much for joining us, Mohamed. What's the current situation in Mogadishu? Because we are hearing these reports of tensions even within the security forces themselves over the divisions between President Mohamed Abdullahi and the Prime Minister. What more can you tell us about this? Well, that is correct. Uh, tensions are a little bit down today after days of escalations uh, following the difference between the president and his prime minister. Uh, yesterday, we have seen that some forces who identified themselves as the national uh, security agencies uh, taking positions uh, in the neighborhoods near the presidential palace, saying that they are awaiting uh, some orders from the prime minister. And that, uh, but uh, we also have seen that some negotiations going on between uh, these two leaders uh, away from the media limelight. Also to note that is that the, the opposition groups uh, said in a statement that uh, adding, uh, so the opposition groups uh, rather said that uh, they want the president to leave the presidential palace and uh, demanding investigations on what they said as a, a treason and a, a constitutional coup uh, after the president suspended the prime minister. But generally, the political temperature right now is uh, down. And as I've said it before, is that uh, there is ongoing negotiations uh, involving different, part, different people uh, trying to bring together these two top leaders. Uh, but it's away from the media limelight. We'll say that these tensions do continue, Mohammed, and that, th that there isn't uh, a, a deal that's probably made between the two leaders. What we're also hearing is that Somalia was expected to complete parliamentary elections and then elect a president. That's what we know. How would that process be affected by the current tensions between the two leaders? Yes, the continued uh, conflict uh, between the president and the prime minister uh, obviously will affect the ongoing uh, parliamentary elections because the, the prime minister was the one who was tasked uh, to coordinate the elections. Uh, as their rift continue also there is a delay of the ongoing parliamentary elections uh, because uh, the prime minister was responsible for coordinating these uh, 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 elections, uh, parliamentary elections rather, before the crucial presidential elections. And this is the third time that the, the schedule was missed and the deadline was missed. So, but as we speak, they are, uh, the, the elections, of course, is indirect, and some regions are conducting uh, parliamentary elections as, as the rift between these two continue, especially in the states like Jubaland and, uh, and, and Puntland, uh, as these two re some regional leaders are already here in the capital, Magdishu, uh, coming to take part in the national consultative uh, forum that was uh, convened by the Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble. And obviously the topics that will be discussed will be the elections.